so there can be products uh, which are avail already available in the pharmacy and one of the examples that we can take is insulin and insulin is taken by diabetic patients and particularly those diabetic patients uh, in which uh, sugar levels are very high and uh, a person might have to take one or, or multiple uh, diabetic medications and the process is is uh, is you know one has to pierce the syringe um, the needle syringe into arms or wherever or you know depends upon the route so a continuous puncture by a needle can cause infection or other kind of problem so diabetes is is is, is prevalent in, in in our society in since many many years insulin various forms of insulin is present in in the pharmacy at various types but now in, in diabetes is coming to younger generations for many reasons, environment, climate change, lifestyle change. So it's very hard to pierce uh, you know, a, a young kid with syringe all the time to regulate sugar. So scientists are developing a newer version of insulin such that it can be taken by as a nasal spray. So this insulin, Paper or insulin liquid can be sprayed on on, on in the on the mucus uh, mucus membrane, and then this insulin product will cross the the epithelial cells, go into bloodstream to regulate the level of insulin. I'm sorry, there's a lot of background noise. I would like you to mute yourself, please. So, so when you are developing and when you are get when you are reading, trying to develop some some product, it is very important that one has to protect the ideas. Ideas can be easily taken by another person, and a person who had the original idea can suffer. So. There are various stages before one, one reaches to the stage of patenting. The first, you have an idea, and then one has to make sure that this idea is relevant. By the word relevant, I mean that there is no pre-existing product exactly what you are thinking. And then if there is no product, then build a typical prototype product and see whether it's functioning or not. If it is functioning and either this product is new or it is better than pre-existing product, then one can file for the provisional patent. The patent is to gain intellectual property over the product. And then this product will be tested and you know will be supplied to the commercial places. And then if the product is good, then, then there may be more investors. If there are more investors, then you can grow your companies and sell the product. So from ideas to developing a product to marketing it, it takes time, but that is the most enterprising thing that one can do with knowledge, right? So you might have heard term like bed to uh, from lab to bedside, meaning that do lab-based research, make a product that could be useful on in the on the patients in 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 in, in hospitals condition. So this chapter becomes relevant as a part of biotechnology uh, because um, there are there are many challenges in the field of biology that relates to human health. For example, recently you saw the COVID-19 vaccine. There are many companies were in the race, but the top two companies, I believe best over the world, best over the world. Uh, is 
Pfizer and Moderna. So, and you see that John, uh, uh, Johnson and Johnson has been, you know, uh, they have been stopped to provide, provide their product to the best of my knowledge. Either they have been, their production has been reduced or they have been told to stop. I don't know, but something went and, and the bottom line is that uh, Pfizer and Moderna products are more in, in need as compared to Johnson & Johnson. And that's the story worldwide. There are many countries that have not done the proper vetting of the vaccine, not proper quality control. Just last week, there was a paper article in the magazine Science. They were talking about how government for political reasons and to have pushed the development of vaccines. COVID. So, uh, excuse me, I'm really getting disturbed by the background noise. So I would, I will. I'm really getting, please mute yourself. It's not good for your friends and not good for me. Please mute yourself. Hello. So as a faculty or scientist who, who, who found a product which is novel, or found an, a protein or that is not new, then he or she has to disclose the, the invention to a, to a office. So generally, every university or, universe or, or, or institution, they have a technology development office that, access, that, you know, that assesses the invention. And then once the technology office agrees with the invention, finds some potential, then they find the file together for provisional patent application. And then after going through various stages, the patent is awarded to that. So what is patent? Patenting is a patent is a document that is prepared upon discovering a new product that could be a medicine, that could be a test, that could be a reagent. Right? And this patent is this patent is applied to a to an office within United States, that office is called as United States Patent and Trademark Office. This office receives the patent application. Together, together with the patent application, there are documents that supports the, uh, um, the, the claim of the invention. And this is reviewed by the committee in the USPTO. If there are questions, then they will keep on asking questions until they are satisfied. And if they find that this product is novel, can change something in this world, in society, then they will provide the patent um, number. And, and uh, so one, and, paid pro and getting a patent number means you are the sole inventor of that, of that you know, uh, agent. And that agent could be a medicine, it could be a diagnostic test, it could be a vaccine, it could be a platform of, of you know, making something important for society. So it's very important to be, one can be visionary, but a visionary without knowledge, I don't know. Then once you are vision and you're, you're thoughtful about what the next steps are, then you might perceive an, an idea, an image of what you want to do. Then you can plan it and then get the work done. So it's a process. It's a mental process, then experimental process, then documentation process through which a patent is awarded. After a patent is awarded, if you if you want to commercialize this product, then you can one can start small in a basement or in a, in a garage and see the potential, get them investors. Investors, when they invest, then you can, you can increase the size of your company. And when com once company is doing good, then it can be listed on the Wall Street, so and so forth. So this, this process makes things very reliable, uh, such that you know, nobody can steal your idea, product. But unless, until 
you get the patent number, one has to be very, very secretive about it. Because the moment somebody hears about the idea, can jump over it and can, can, can work fast and get the patent number before the person who is the real inventor. So there's a cutthroat competition in, in this patenting business. And you notice this comp in, in, on Wall Street, many companies rise, many companies fall. And you know, so that's the story of the technology once it has to be commercialized. And commercialization is important because you yeah. have to generate a product for global level. It's a huge you know, amount of product, so you need investors. So, uh, so this is, uh, these 35 USC are the patent codes. The rules are 37 CFR, rules governing the operation of United, so USPTO stands for United States Patent Trademark or Organization, right? So there is a, there is a condition uh, which is called as global trio uh, sil ceramide. In this, the newly born kid develops rashes, and that's because of not proper uh, digestion or not proper, you know. Uh, fat distribution in the body or fat digestion in the body. And this was because of a lack of an enzyme that was, so this disease is caused by a mutation and this was discovered in Mount Sinai. And they cloned the gene and they made the protein, which they call fabrazine. This, this protein can be injected into the kids so that their fat metabolism is, is, is regulated. And because of this patent, um, Mount Sinai is, you know, their, 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 uh, their uh, you know, um, their global market has increased to 993 million in FY13, uh, 13, and now it is 2022, so I mean, graph is going up. So, uh, so Marcus and I, with the support of a, a company in Boston, Genzyme, they uh, did the research and they got the patent for this. Now, as much as science is fair, science could be unfair also, but it is important for you to, to tell me to tell you that you, are, you have a long career, you may end up being a scientist, being a researcher, or in a working, or a, or a medical, a biomedical researcher, or, or a doctor, or a physician scientist, or even public health. So, so, and sometimes bad things happen. And what, this is one of the story with the HeLa cells. HeLa cells are the cells which are derived from cervical cancer. This, this cell line, it can be used to study um, cancer development. What are the biochemical pathways in cancer? And this cell line uh, is called as HeLa cell, which was, which was taken from a lady who had cervical cancer without permission. And this cell line, HeLa cells, is so popular, so important that many, many labs have this. Now her contribution was never valued. The whole cell came from a tumor and scientists across the globe have used HeLa cells. But her, her, her contribution was never acknowledged. The permission was not taken. So the tumor was removed, it was taken to the lab and cell lines were prepared. So this thing should not happen, right? So, <clears throat> so and this HeLa cell was very important for the development of polio vaccines, but it was not done in a right way. Also, you can see that there are more than 100,000, I think this is less number, I did a search, there must be many, many, you know, hundred thousands of publications using HeLa cells. It's very important cell line, but the person who donated or the person from whom this was taken was never acknowledged. And this happened in, 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 in John Hopkins. So, 
so just uh, just bear with me let me uh, show you some an article on hella cell so this class is not only about to to tell you about uh, biotechnology or molecular biology but also say that how what is happening in science in biomedical research so that you know one, if you or any profession where somebody can be unfairly treated so hella cell biopsy of henrietta lacks tumor collected without her knowledge or consent and hella cell line was established in 1971 the journal of Obstet obstetrics obstetrics and gynecology named uh, hmm. names henrietta lack as a hella source word spreads in nature science mainstream lacks family members learn about hella cell in 1973 after almost 12 years later scientists later collect their blood to map hella genes so much of work without proper consent informed consent uh, lacks family then they started trying to you know um, understand what went wrong why they're not in knowledge then from 1996 lacks family honored at the first hella cancer control symposium in 20 2013 hella genome published without the knowledge of the family which later endorses restricted access to genome data right so all these things happened in in science in 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 this part of the country which is not fair so i heard recently that to compensate these things um, um, john hopkins um, has made an made a building honoring um, miss lax but it's too late and it's too less so uh, as i mentioned to you the the job or or the on the or the outcome student learning outcome of this course is not to just tell you about pcr or sequencing or this chemistry ribose ribose or mrna vaccines but there are a lot of inconsistent things happen during the development of scientific field for example uh, you know uh, lack of uh, lack of acknowledgement to the work to the work of uh, rosalind franklin uh, because without her work it would not have been discovered that the two strands of dna are connected by hydrogen bond so these things have happened and and they should not happen but as a student we were not taught about these things maybe it was not clearly published or clearly uh, relayed to the to the you know to uh, to us as a student but now i am in addition to teaching you technology biology i also tell you that you know social justice equity is very important uh, as we grow up in our society right and science is an important part of society so and you people are 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 you know growing you know healthcare workers physicians anything so so keep that in mind so that was the that's the reason i was very you know i always want to finish what i am assigned to as a as a as a teacher as instructor professor because each syllabus is very holistic and if i if i rush if i don't explain if i incomplete then i don't feel good that you know i, I didn't tell my students uh, what the other side of the picture is and i say you know when you grow up and then you feel, feel something then you know so that's what we are here to teach you so that uh, you learn every aspect of science Com science can be commercialized science can be can be profitable but one has to be careful that science has to deliver the element of social justice and it has to bring equity <clears throat> so um, definition of patent as i have given two three examples patent is a document that gives inventor the authority um, and nobody can claim except the inventor and the inventor can develop a research lab can develop a company can get profit can make a big company and when a, when a company is made a lot of people get employed a lot of families benefit a lot of cities neighborhood benefit so that's the positive aspect of science now each product should have a logo like you have uh, on pepsi on polo uh, polo t-shirt polo you know cosmetic products so so a patent has to be followed by to have to to design a logo a trademark that could be unique 
again, you cannot copy a trademark from other product. It has to be your unique uh, trademark that will identify your product, right? So see um, this, uh, this, uh, this serial, which is one of the most popular in, in, in the history of US televisions, you know, um, serial, um, the name Friends, do you think anybody can keep this name Friends and have a serial and so, so these names, this logo, this trademark, you know, it, 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 if the product is good, it becomes a part of history and it stays like that. So, <clears throat> so it's um, any, any product you develop, any movies, documentaries, they're all part of your intellectual uh, property rights. So what is intellectual property? Intell intellectual property is a legal term for having ideas that can be, that has been developed into a product and it becomes the legal right of the inventor or discoverer and nobody can capture that, cannot take that, that intellectual idea property and a person can do something more to develop the idea into product. So uh, another very important component of, of, of uh, healthcare products that could be food is Food and Drug Administration, FDA, that regulates the quality control of what we consume from, 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 from drinks, soft drinks to, to food. And quality control is very important. Vaccines, right? This is Food and Drug Administration that, that, that passed that, okay, this age of people can take COVID vaccine, then this age of people, and the kids cannot take it or may not take it or may or may not take it. So who, who would look at these quality control that vaccine should be given to what ages? And at what ages it is most beneficial? And uh, so, so these all these are regulated by FDA. So on one hand, patenting is, in, is, is important, but on the other hand, regulation is also important such that there is no, no excess, or there is no you know, scarcity. So FDA has various centers, like food safety, drug evaluation, device and radiological health. So they are all over the US toxicological research to look at if the vaccines can ha does have any toxicity. Right? So, so this can be done you know, um, in phase one, phase two, phase three trials. So, patient safety in clinical trials, enrollment during the study. And so, um, so patenting, so having a knowledge, clear knowledge, having an idea is a natural process to develop a product is it takes effort uh, to secure that product. It takes another level. Uh, of uh, in a challenge to convince USPTO that yes, your product is unique and new, and it's going to benefit the society and it's going to bring revenue that will help the country and the state and the community. And those things are good. The other side of patenting is that it generates a lot of competition, which may not be healthy sometimes. And uh, also, uh, you know, a lot of secrecy and, and you know, so, so this is a small chapter um, on patenting and regulation that is over. So I would uh, 